Hey guys, I'm on my way to a customer's house. Previous customer, I consider them always customers. <laughs> Let me turn the air off here so you can hear. Uh, anyway, um, this is somebody we worked for about five years ago and they've got a contract on their house. The home inspector saw this little crack against the wall, the, the poured wall, the concrete poured wall that we poured as a retaining wall. He wanted caulk, so we're doing that. But anyway, so I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone here, document that little process and the products we're using. Uh, and uh, also remind people that uh, sometime this weekend, um, we're going to give away, it may be Monday, Sunday or Monday, uh, give away the cleaning kit and uh, a couple of MREs and some ammo. I'm not sure if we're going to give it all away at once, but I'll see what I've got. And uh, I think I have a whole spam can full of ammo for the Mosin. And um, so I'll give away some of that too. I want to save some of the MREs. I bought some MREs from MarinePants.com to support them. I bought a case of 12. I think what I'm going to do is just have like a vet, a veteran giveaway after after this thing, or maybe during, because the the M44 giveaway is going on until the 16th of October. So maybe in the middle of all that, I'll I'll give away some of these MREs and some of the ammo to just vets. I feel like we just need to maybe do something for them. Anyway, next video you'll see is uh, us caulking the, the driveway at the retaining wall. <laughs> Thanks guys. By the way, I failed to mention that you can still get in on the M44 giveaway. You just gotta go to uh, artistandtony.com and you'll see the article right there and how you can enter. And also I placed uh, Andrews, the winner of the bug out bag, Andrew made an unboxing video, which was really good, and I posted it on in the same article, so you can find it there. Thanks. It's looking good, though. What do you think about just smearing some caulk over? Well, the caulk. I was thinking I would get something that was like epoxy based that would uh, stay. It looks really good. They had a big crack along this wall. This is a old customer of ours. We, uh, I've known them for like, I don't know, six or seven years. We did a basement renovation for them and some other work. And now they're trying to sell the house. And the home inspector said, oh, I don't like that crack. So I don't like it either. So <laughs> Donnie is <laughs> caulking it. And he's doing a really good job. It looks good. We're trying to do what we were discussing was how to take care of a when we cut this notch out a little deeper. The driveway had settled, which we expected it to, but we cut that notch out a little deeper so the water wouldn't pull up here. And we ran into that piece of rebar, so we're trying to decide how to coat it to keep it from rusting. Probably get some kind of epoxy based coating Put over it. That looks good. What you think? You're biased that you did it. <laughs> Donnie, a good idea. Just put some of this. This is a urethane based caulk right. It's pretty good stuff. That looks good. That's a lot less complicated than what I was talking about doing. <laughs> and then water should just run right over the top of that. This is the stuff we're using. Very good. Urethane based. Right, Donnie? Right. And it's not gonna focus. Something more along the lines of what a commercial contractor would deal with most of, the, most of the time, but we're gonna do this wall too. 
I don't know how they get by with uh, caulking those right away because you know it's going to settle and you just have a little <laughs> ramp of caulk. I know this stuff is really flexible though. So, well, it works on many jobs, so I shouldn't doubt it.